Scott here. Welcome to this week's Dot Advice. The theme, uh, our word of the week, will be basically uh, instilling belief in others. And I'll give you an example. Um, you know, one of my employees uh, for one of the companies I own, I had to have, I had a conversation with him. And basically, the conversation could have gone one of two ways. One, I could have sat there and said why the individual was doing everything wrong. Okay? And I could have talked about uh, why their job's at jeopardy. Right? The whole, that whole tactic. Or two, I could take it from the position of how much I believe in them. And that's, that's, that's called managing from the heart. Right? And so I told this individual, I said, look, the reason we're having this conversation is not because you're, you're not doing your job well. It's because I know what you're capable of doing. I know, I know that if you're all in and you're working and you're focused on doing, I know how amazing you are. And so I'm not mad at you for, for not doing a great job. It's more I'm concerned for you because you're a friend and I care for you. And I, and I value you being a part of this company. But for me, uh, I know what you're capable of doing. And if you're bringing your A game, your results are completely different than what we're currently getting. See, that's managing from the heart versus... You know, you did a bad thing, and if you don't change, here's what's going to happen. Parenting, same type situation. Coaching, same type situation, right? You know, one of my biggest things as a, as a coach is, you know, when I coach the Dallas Patriots, is I want to bring out the best in that kid. The number one way to do that is for that kid to know you believe in him. If that kid knows you believe in him, then his results are going to be dramatically different because the best coach, the best parent, the best boss, if you want to call it that, they're doing their job well, if the individual's goal is to make them proud. You know, one of the greatest compliments I've ever received as a coach when my player said, Coach, I just don't want to let you down. I mean, that, 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 I, I'll never forget how emotional I got when I was told that. Well, it, it was such an honor because the individual I was, rep, I was actually just referring to who works for one of my companies said the same thing. He started crying in, in the office and they said, Look, I just don't want to let you down. And I apologize for not bringing my A game, and I promise you it'll change. And, and so the deal is there. It comes from a, a, a management from the heart. It's compassion. I care for you. I love you. I know what you're capable of versus other tactics. And so my encouragement to you is no matter who, who you are or where you are in life, you're going to have opportunities uh, where you can really instill in someone's life how much you believe in them and how much you, you see they're capable of becoming. And so that's action line number one is, is really reflect back previously uh, on those moments where you were able to really pour into somebody how much you believe in them and pour into somebody um, what they're capable of becoming and ask yourself, did you handle it right? And the second action item is I really want to encourage you to look for those opportunities. Body language speaks a thousand words. Uh, find people that look their, their, their tempo's down. Maybe they're just not... There's something going on there. And find a way to just instill in them how much you believe in them. Thank you for joining us this week on Stat Advice. I can't wait to see you next week.